Good morning students. A warm welcome to Science Online Learning. I hope you all are keeping fine and safe at home. Students, today I would like to teach you about aquatic plants. Students, plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants, right? Students, among them, some plants float on water while others grow completely under water. Dear students, aquatic plants are of three types. They are floating plants, fixed plants and underwater plants. Clear students? Aquatic plants are of three types. Floating plants, fixed plants and underwater plants. So, first of all, we are going to study about floating plants. Students, these plants float because they are either light or small in size. For example, duckweed, water lettuce and water hyacinth are some such plants and image of duckweed is in front of you. Ok students, this is the image of duckweed plants. This is also image of duckweed plants. This is the image of water lettuce. Image of water lettuce. Then this is also image of water lettuce. Now comes image of uh, hyacinth. Okay. This is the image of water hyacinth. Image of floating plant water hyacinth. Okay students. Then comes next type of aquatic plants. They are fixed plants. Now we are going to study about fixed plants. Okay students. And uh, some plants are fixed to the ground means uh, bed of the pond. Okay. Fix it to the bed of the pond. And uh, for example, lotus plant and water lily are the examples of fixed plant. The stem of the lotus is hollow and light and keeps the leaves and flowers afloat. See the image in front of you. The stem of the lotus is like a pipe. It is hollow and it is lightweight. So, the keep and so it can keep the leaves afloat. Leaves and flowers 
afloat see the image the leaves are broad and have stomata only on the upper side of the leaf okay students image of lotus then comes image of water lily also fixed plant water lily also fixed plant image of water lily image of water lilies now comes next type of aquatic plant the third one under water plants under water plants and uh, plants like hydrilla tape grass and pond weed remain under water okay these are the examples of under water plants hydrilla tape grass and pond weed image of hydrilla is in front of you tape grass these plants have under water plants have long ribbon like uh, and narrow leaves these plants have long ribbon like narrow leaves these plants have and these leaves arise in clusters from the roots see the image from the roots is itself from the uh, roots it, itself these leaves arise in clusters in group and they breathe through their body surface only these plants clean the water by removing the carbon dioxide breathed out by aquatic animals understood students listen these plants can clean the water by removing the carbon dioxide breathed out by breathed out by aquatic animals such as fish turtle and all okay students understood now so we put such plants we grow such plants in our aquariums students understood no understood no students these are also underwater plants underwater plants pond weed image of pond weed you can watch under water plants on screen image of pond weed okay students that's all for today thank you students have a nice day thank you